Hello, this is John from Dan Best. This is going to be the very first video in my new series, What Makes You So Stupid? And the reason why I came across that one day, and I try, you know, I've been in business a long time, as, as today is the day before Christmas, 2018. I've been in business 49 years and six months. <clears throat> That's a long time. And many times I hear questions and I say that just to myself. <laughs> what makes you so stupid? But it's getting to a point after that much time and answering questions and a fellow called the other day to make a purchase on a fairly small carburetor. Our second from smallest, which has, you know, a huge throttle response and stuff. And he asked me to check some things out and make sure I had the main body inventory. I called him back. And the guy, you know, the, you know, over the phone just made me pause. He says, does it come with a third circuit? I did not even know how to respond to that. So I was just frozen in the conversation. And a small carburetor, you know, with all the advantages, the booster placement, you know, the more active boosters we use, and everything there was, I just didn't know how to answer. But when I got off the phone, I, I said to myself again, what makes you so stupid? So I put that little survey in our Facebook page to see if people would be interested in hearing, you know, partially venting and going back and trying to uncover why people hang on to something for near, you, you, you know, and I can always be corrected if somebody knows the dates. My first remembrance on what we would call third circuit, where the additional tube was put in a dominator carburetor to make up for when the butterfly was transitioning past the transfer slot up towards the main booster. I believe Smokey Eunuch used it in NASCAR when uh, dominators were, were legal, and, I'm, and I believe it was in the 60s. If somebody actually knows historically the date on that, and they can pass it forward to me, I would really appreciate it. But I think that's when it was in the 60s. What, where in the 60s, I don't know, but in the 60s. Well, currently, that would make it almost 60 years old, somewhere between 50 and 60 years old, based on the early 60s or the late 60s. And some of these things have been drug forward from the 50s, which would ma now make them, certainly in their early 50s, almost 70 years old. So it's time for people to let go of some of the really old stuff they're dragging forward. So we're looking at the third circuit and its original purpose being put above the transfer slot and below the booster. So as the butterfly was transitioning past the transfer slot, and what they found is that, you know, the carburetors didn't have enough booster signal. They didn't know about uh, internal flow resistance at the time either. You know, the passage is being slow, so you're not only having to fight the fact that the booster signal may be, you know, small or, or a little, but you're also having to fight the internal resistance of the fuel moving. So the less draw on the booster and more resistance means the fuel delivery is even slower. So there's a combination of things that keep fuel from actually coming out the booster. Not only the air going by the booster designs, designs of the carburetor at the time, but the internal resistance in the uh, booster itself, the metering block, you know, jetting and all the passages there is from one item to the other. So there's a lot of resistance and that takes time for the fuel to actually come out. If you go to Dan Best 1, once again, I showed... Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of videos in there where the fuel coming out of there at the low booster signal and I, I do it at certain engine speeds like even though it looks like it's air is probably moving but when you're distributing it over eight cylinders or, or me, yeah, eight cylinders or eight venturis or four venturis and you look at the air going by there's not enough to really get the booster signal up and the atomization up in the fuel so it really looks like globules coming out of there which which doesn't burn at all even though you may have a, a mass of fuel you don't have surface area so at that point they put the third circuit for the transition to try to pick up a little fuel as it was going by once the butterfly was vertical 
then the only thing it added is whatever air went by the end of it. So it would draw fuel pretty much like the transfer slot does and then go past it, draw a little bit of fuel and help the transition uh, going up to wide open throttle. So when someone looks at what we're, we're doing today and asks about the third circuit, well, there's so many more changes. Now, we, we, we continue to make changes in our products every day. You know, I, I think about people who go back and get their cylinder heads updated and freshened, and I'm and I still always curious why they don't want to get carburetors that are continuing to be updated and freshened the same. Because our carburetors, even within one year, which I'll show in a moment, continue to go through evolution, evolutions based on the things that we learn and, you know, to make things a little bit more simple in the customer. So... The other thing that happens in the holly based carburetors is the throttle shaft is further up from the gasket mating surface than ours. Uh, ours is also a base plated carburetor, so the throttle shaft is further down, uh, which ha you know has some advantages when you're looking at <coughs> how it's going to control the air through the transfer slot and then you know what we're able to do with the booster at that point. So in our carburetors, the idle is further down than it is in the holly. Uh, also, the transfer slot in some of the carburetors now, they're in the top of the uh, base plate. And in some of them, the, the slot does extend into the bottom of the main housing. Let's see if I can stick this over here. here here's a transfer slot that's in the top of the base plate. Okay, here's the idle. This is a standard 4150 base plate. I wanted to show this one first because it's standard. This happened to be what the guy was asking about. And so, you know, having a question to have a third circuit in the uh, 4150 just really paused me. Uh, you know, in the Holly carburetors, there's much smaller fuel delivery diameters in their boosters. We have a 250 ID reducing the restriction. It seemed like the fellow didn't do any homework at all to understand what our products offer. We have larger patches, passages internally, and we have shearing inside the mirroring block based on our last three numbers of 251 patent, which can be looked up. So we're, we have a lot more emulsion going on inside the metering block. We certainly don't want to recollect it in the stem. Uh, one of the things that regularly comes uh, to my attention is how long the how low the brake specific fuel consumption is when the answer is a dyno. It's very common for a you know competition style, pro stock style, style engine to have BFFCs in the low 30s based on you know, the efficiency of these carburetors. So when we're having booster signal, they in some cases could be as much as twice. Just we're just talking about the signal at the booster, not even the fuel delivery and the lack of resistance. It really doesn't come to a point where it has any need to fill in that gap for the third circuit for um, response to the booster. As soon as air is going by, we need basically half as much air to draw the same or more fuel. And the reason why I say more is because then we have less internal restriction through the booster and the metering block. So half as much air may net two and a half times more fuel. So we see that in the size of the air bleeds. We, we had the um, little display we put in there where I took the time to take in drill sizes and booster holes, and that's in the Facebook. It was also done in the Engine Professional to show the huge differences between what we're doing and other people doing. It would just be really nice if people spent a little bit more time doing the homework I, you know, that's why I get to the point I get frustrated, and I don't mean to belittle somebody, but when I get to the point and I say that to myself, you know, it really says, what can I say to this person that will bring him from where he is to where we are? So I have no idea. So I said, just how stupid are you? I mean, that's just, <laughs> you know, other people use much worse terms than that. So I figured I'd do another video to cover some of the, you know, a whole series of videos and the hope that somebody will be able to see, see these items. Now, not only do we, we, we have this over on the right, let me just see if it shows here. I'll move the camera a little bit. I put a little list of the reasons for the third circuit. Make up for poor booster signal during transitional throttle. 
That's the original purpose. Second, to add fuel to mains is too small. All right, once they got to a point in some dragon things where the engine started making more power, whether even be single four barrel or two four barrels, what they ended up finding, because the engines keep getting bigger, there wasn't enough fuel delivery going through the main. So if they took away the third circuit, not because they needed the transitional, but they took away total fuel that would that added to performance. They couldn't supply enough fuel um, through the main to feed the engine. So they absolutely needed the third circuit to add the total fuel to the main. There's absolutely no need in, in you know, we can easily feed you know, several thousand horsepower through our fuel delivery system. Not that you need that, but we could. Um, it's been a long time since I've maxed, maxed them out. Uh, the the part where it gets maxed out now first would be the kneel and seat. So we have different uh, kneel and seat positions and, and, and uh, float hinge position to allow for greater needle drop. So if you go into our float explanation where the next restriction for total fuel performance delivery is, is in the float ball. And we've addressed a lot of it in there. So that's the second one. Add fuel to the main when it's too small. Three, this is one that people use a lot currently with some of these big displacement engines. Take over as idle in large displacement engines. Well, these large displacement engines have so much overlap in them that they don't create any intake manifold vacuum. Yes, we're susceptible to that, same as Holly. But when they had the third circuit up there and they would crank the butterfly in it, it would take over for the idle. We're a little susceptible to that, so we've made changes, and I want to show the changes that we've done. So there's no vacuum to draw fuel out of the idle hole, so the airspeed past the tube will act as a pipette and draw fuel. Well, I, I don't have a third circuit, so we, didn't, we don't do that. But our newest uh, carburetors have a whole thing where we're going to be using that system ourselves. Let me just get this so you can see it. So our idle now has a tube so when the because there's no vacuum so the change you know chances are these engines aren't going to create any vacuum but when the butterfly is opening just like a third circuit it'll draw air past the tube creating a little bit more vacuum and this helps with the really big engines so our newest uh, 4500s and our new 4500 and 4900 splits come standard with a tube through the idle now so that no, the vacuum isn't where the issue is. It's the airspeed past the booster. All right, so that's one of the newer advantages uh, to buying, you know, upgrading your carburetors every year. Here's another thing that we've changed in some of the big carbs. Instead of uh, making a um, slot for the transfer slot for, for the transitional, we're going vertical. We've gone horizontal. Let's see if this shows up over here. Uh, let me move it to the camera so we can see this right where my pen is here going out in this direction all right that's a horizontal slot which we can deepen or make longer so that when the butterfly transitions past that I'll get back to this one it's very hard to see because everything's black I'm gonna put the butterfly right at it right there you can see as I just tip it in there right there is the transfer slot now so you got the tube in a horizontal slot so the vacuum underneath the butterfly can draw a little harder during the transfer a, a transitional flow <clears throat> but when we put the airfoil booster in this it absolutely positively does not need a third circuit and so it, all of our carburetors if you look at the main body here where my fingers pointing you have an adjustable transfer slot and adjustable idle so if somebody wants to make the transfer slot richer, all they have to do is either increase the jet to the idle transfer because they're, they're connected in the metering block, then reduce the size here for the idle, or turn in the curb idle screw, which is a, a needle and seat for fuel going to the idle. You can just screw it in, and then you can have more fuel going to the transfer slot. So with all of these advantages, there's absolutely no reason to add a third circuit. 
in, you know, in our carburetor. So it becomes hard to respond to somebody who, who is so far behind in technology. And, and, and people have told me before, and even this, is to make it sound like somebody is stupid. You know, when I say it, and I say it so simply, they take on themselves that I'm saying it. And well, I'm, unfortunately, it gets to the point where I just have said it so many times, I don't know how to say it another way. And, and uh, you know, that, that I'm sorry for. So I figure I'd do this series and see how it unfolds, if people like it or don't. But these thir uh, third circuit tubes, at least in damn best, are completely not necessary. Other ones may need it. And, and that's what I'd focus on, is not why we don't run it, is why is it so necessary for them to run it. Design a carburetor, position the throttle, uh, internal restriction, go back over the reasons, Poor signal at the uh, booster and during transitional throttle to add more fuel to the main. That's still a big one. And to take over for idle and large displacement engines. This is, a st you know, all of these are still very important to the people that, that need that tube in there. So I want to see what the response is to this. If I get response where people don't feel overly <laughs> insulted my frustrations and think this is a good thing to explain i'll do more if not we'll just laugh at it and say this was uh, a dumb idea on my part so i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye